In this podcast episode, I talk to my mate Steve, who tells us why he started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, his proudest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu moment is so far, and what advice he would give to anyone thinking of starting. I told my friend 10 jokes to try and get him to laugh. No pun intended. When did you start Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? I started February 2027. Not 2027, sorry. I started. Do you cyborg from the future? Come back, Steve. I started Jiu Jitsu February 2017 with a blue belt. He just started his own little thing and I had done some judo with him. What was that? That was at the old Brighton Judo Club, what is now actually Elements. Okay. And then I was with him for six months and then I knew of Grand Union and I was like, it's from right around the corner from me. It's got loads of black belts, loads of colour belts. And I was just training with this blue belt and a load of white belts. And I was like, well, I'm try this place yeah. And I remember my first class, it's right in this corner. And Caesar paired me up with you. And for my first class, I was, with you. I was on a Wednesday. No, no. And it I was like, yeah. and, and going to a place and having those friendly people around you, rolling with you was really, well, we drilled together and then we rolled together. It was really nice. I think that was the first and last time I ever touched you, I think, actually. <laughs> I think accidentally, I thought, I'm going to get him while he's frog from then on. Because you are now brown belt. Yes, I'm a brown what, belt. One striper. One front belt. Which is pretty awesome, man. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I don't really feel like a brown belt a lot of the time because I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not a competitive brown belt. But I do jiu-jitsu for the fun, fun element, uh, the social element here, the friends we have here. I wanted it more for the self-defense because I've got kids and yeah. daughters and I wanted them to eventually be able to help them with, because I think jiu-jitsu is amazing for kids and I yeah. think it's amazing for for girls especially, man. Like, you should learn to fight on your back. Like, if, if a girl was able to get sexually assaulted, like, knowing jiu-jitsu. Like, probably yeah. the best martial art I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. It's one thing you said I really liked, actually, one of the things that attracted you to this place and I think oh, we are very lucky in our academy to have what, I know, Seven or eight black belts, yeah, yeah number yeah, of brown yeah, belts, yeah, lots yeah. of purple belts. So it's it's as much about you. You need to be somewhere. There are lots of people better than you. It's going to it's going to accelerate your progression. Yes, yeah. and to have the lineage we have, Caesar to be a black belt under Roger, one of the greatest, and the Gracie lineage just it's amazing, man. Yeah. and for us, we both live in Salt Dean. For this to be five minutes from our house is a touch. It's can get better. Really. Yeah, yeah. Why did you start Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Could you boil it down to one reason? Uh, so, I'm a stunt performer in the TV and film industry, but I had to do a martial art to qualify as a, st as a stunt man. So, I'd done, really? I was looking at all these different martial yeah, arts. Actually, that's like the stick with that. Yeah, you have to, have do, to have it. You have to do oh, one. Okay. And, and it, it always changes. And I think roughly it was the belt before black belt you had to achieve. So, I'd done Japanese Jiu Jitsu for a year and I really enjoyed that and I learned a lot from that. And then I was doing judo at the same time. But then I really realised for my job, I needed to do kickboxing because right. you need the fancy punches and kicks. And that's what's held on, on screen. But whilst I was doing that, I was still like looking at Jiu Jitsu and stuff. And then I found like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I was like, this is different to what I've done before, mm. the Japanese stuff. And I just really liked the look. look and I just went down the rabbit hole and yeah, yeah. realising how fun it is. And what, I, I, I enjoy punching and kicking. I think it looks great. I don't enjoy getting punched and kicked. <laughs> no, that's surprising me yeah. When me and you come here and we do jiu-jitsu, me and you could go 200% at each other. Yeah. And we might be a bit achy the next day, but we're not going to be battered and bruised from punching and kicks to the head. All that brain trauma you get. Yeah, and that is a proper workout. Yeah. Mental and physical yeah. workout. As soon as I finished my level I needed to get for my kickboxing, I was doing that all the way in London and driving up to London twice a week. And I was just so glad to actually be like, I've got this club five minutes down my road. Yeah. And what, what I really started liking and... That was that. What's your proudest moment so far in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, proudest moment. I think maybe getting my brown belt, obviously, yeah. that's a big Tough achievement. To beat. But I think Jiu Jitsu is so wavy, especially for me. Like, I had a, I've had the last month, like, I've really just had no of desire to come and train. I yeah. even spoke to Caesar about it, and he said he's had that before. And I think everyone goes through. Through ways so that's what else we were in your life yeah, before. Yeah, and, and for me, I'm living, living through very difficult, stressful times. Yeah, sometimes it's so good to to literally go to jujitsu and just forget about your life problems and forget about all that stuff that's going on. 
But then sometimes you can be so fixed of like, no, I need to sort this out. I'm not going to go tonight. I've got all this paperwork at home still. I've got invoices and I've got this. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's choosing the battles, isn't yeah. it? Sometimes you're like, actually, yeah. yes, we introduced you great, but it's, I'm, it's not going to sort out my worries about my mortgage. Yeah. Yeah. fix this. But I also agree that there are times when it, if you're stressing about the variables you can't control, get on the map. Yeah. Because you won't change it, but your perspective will be a lot more methodical, a lot more, okay. The problems are there, but I know in the same way that I was two seconds away from being fat tonight, I, I had patience, I didn't panic, and I found a way out. So there is always a way. I think that's what you did, so you helps me with, is just like not to panic yeah. about not just rolling jiu-jitsu, but just life, yeah. stresses. Um, you know, and like, another thing I would say to like, because we were talking about this a little bit earlier, about people starting off and giving up and stuff like that. And the thing is, it, it, it's just doing it regular. Like, yeah. If you're going up two, three times a week, do you know what I mean? You just sticking at it, doing it regular, like you're going to eventually get somewhere with it. Yeah. Five years down yeah. the line, before you know it, you'll be blue belt, purple, and you're going to be like, like, look actually how much I've learned in this five years because I just stuck at it. Like, I've been doing Duolingo Spanish at the moment. I All literally right. do five minutes a day. Yeah. I'm pants at it. And I literally feel like giving up. Yeah, but you're like, yeah, but you're much better than someone who wouldn't have the courage to start. I actually think sometimes, even if you can try in once a week, yeah. which is not ideal, but if once a week you're not in the pub, if once a week you're not at home stressed out with yeah. the family, yeah. and actually, okay, your progression will be slower, but there will still be progression. Yeah. And actually, more importantly, I think what you'll get from being a part of this sort of family is as useful as another stripe on your belt. Yeah. Right, so why should someone train with your lingy Why should they? Why shouldn't they? That's well, the let, yeah, okay. Let's make it more specific. Why should a dad train with him? Why should a dad needs to train? Why did a dad do? with two daughters under the age of ten <laughs> train with Because him? that because everyone needs that moment away from their kids yeah. to get a breather, right? And jujitsu is perfect for that. You know, if you can get there a few evenings, maybe a weekend stash, and literally just have that nice little breather away from your kids. Do you know what I mean? It will give you that time to recharge. And then you're going to actually have more focus and pulling, and pulling more love through your kids because you're not constantly being battled by them. And then again, the stuff you learn from jiu-jitsu, you can pass them to your kids from jiu-jitsu, especially there's so many fun jiu-jitsu games. Yeah, yeah, there are. It's, I, I think it's silly. For me, I think it is the best martial art a, a family can do. And look at the families here. Yeah, like, there are a number of people who, yeah. mum, dad, and, and a number of kids train. And our partners don't train, but our kids do train. And, yeah. Um, I'm sure... I have tried getting my partner into it. I'm sure you have as well. Yes. But you can't win all battles. The problem is you're probably much better than me, which would mean I'd have no control <laughs> in that area of my life either. Yeah. And finally, what piece of advice would you give to someone who's maybe watched this and thought, all right, I'm going to give it a go. What tip to someone, what piece of advice would you have liked to have heard before your trial flow? Um, just enjoy it and just give it your all and don't worry about it because there's just so many brand new people and they're literally so scared and worried that they've done bad but literally like, no one does good first of all no. it, it's, it's actually impossible okay maybe there's someone that comes in they seem that they seem like they're really good but then you find out they've done years of wrestling or judo yes. or some other martial art yeah this is a really difficult you've yeah. got to be i think he said it in a, in a previous podcast you've got to be okay with sucking at something yeah, yeah. for a long time that's what people are so worried about, is, is failing, and it's just about... You just have credit for having a, a strong enough ego to even attempt that something like this, because most people don't. Yeah. And for the newer people, say, you know, you went to jiu-jitsu last night, you went with another white belt, you know, you're a white belt, and you got caught in an arm bar. Maybe a little homework if you want to do a little bit of extra. You know, go and do a bit of studying and find maybe a good armbar or, yeah. or not where to put your arm in the first place. It just depends how hungry people are for it. There's so much knowledge on lot now. Yeah. And there's a lot of bad stuff on YouTube as well, and not to get too caught on that, but there's good stuff on YouTube as well. And there's good stuff, there's good video instructionals out there by world champion people. And, you know, if you really want to go down the rabbit hole of literally studying and progressing it's, with jiu-jitsu. It's very addictive. BJJ's a game changer, I'm really not capping. I've trained for eight years, spent a lot of that tapping. The one thing I know to be true is BJJ is good for you. If you struggle with your mental health, please follow this directive. BJJ can improve your life, cause it'll improve your perspective. I really hope you got something from this episode.
And if you've just started training BJJ, or you're a man or woman who started training BJJ later on in life, in your 30s, 40s, or older, I'd love to know your story and how you're getting on. If you'd like to watch the first video in this series, please click this link here. I hope wherever you're in the world, you're okay. Take care.